what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is katie and for today's video we're talking all about what is in my disney world park bag for a day in the parks if you're new to my channel i do a lot of disney videos disney vlogs so make sure you subscribe because i have a trip coming up we're actually booking our dining reservations very very soon so i thought it'd be fun to do a little updated what's in my disney park bag just kind of share with you all of my essentials for a day in the parks i'm going to kind of separate it out into when i'm doing a shorter day in the parks or i'm just just doing Disney Springs or just a Christmas party or something like that where I can kind of get away with having a smaller bag which is kind of nice sometimes and then I'll go into kind of like what I bring for a full long day in the parks so usually with the shorter days I'm bringing a smaller bag something like a fanny pack this one's from Stony Clover I like that it's very accessible it goes across your chest it doesn't hurt your back but it also doesn't fit up a lot of stuff which is why I don't really like this small fanny pack for a long park day but it does kind of carry the bare minimum minimum that I need or I just got this bag too which I'm so excited about also from Stony Clover but it was part of their Christmas collection but it didn't come until after my trip so I haven't gotten to use it yet it is a little bit bigger than a fanny pack which is kind of nice but it's definitely something that's very seasonal but I am really excited to use this out in the parks I don't think it'll be good for an all-day park bag but it'll be great for going out to dinner or going to Disney Springs or doing just like a Christmas party this would be so cute for a Christmas party because it's Sherpa one thing I also like to do is bring different types of bags so you can kind of switch it up so if your back starts to hurt you can switch to a different type of bag it's not gonna hurt your back as much it might then hurt your shoulder but <laughs> kind of like how you should bring a couple pairs of shoes I do like to bring a couple different types of bags so when I'm bringing this smaller bag I really bring the bare minimum because it really does not fit a whole lot of stuff so the bare minimum stuff that I like to pack in my park bag would be my wallet so I do like these little card holders that Disney sells I bought this one last year when I was there and it's so cute but I like how slim they are they really only fit like a few cards and your ID which is all you need I honestly use my magic band to buy a lot of stuff but sometimes you'll need your ID I like to carry my Disney Visa card with me in my card holder because you can get a discount at merch shops if you buy Buy over a certain amount of stuff so pretty much always me my mom my sister will combine and we'll use someone's Disney Visa card and then we'll just kind of pay each other back but you have to have the card with you and you have to pay with the card so I do always bring this with me even though you can charge everything to your magic band I just feel like you can't leave the house without your wallet even though it feels like in Disney you don't need it I do still bring it with me for those reasons and then of course the magic band usually I'm wearing it but sometimes I take it off and put it in my bag and then another thing is my prescription sunglasses so obviously I do wear glasses and I always always bring sunglasses everywhere I go because I have really sensitive eyes to the sun. Normally I carry them in this little pouch but it's not going to fit in the fanny pack. So I also bring this. It kind of works for two things. I can use it to kind of clean my glasses off right because it's like that microfiber material but then also I can put the glasses in here and I just have to be careful not to squish them obviously but usually with a fanny pack I'm not going to be like tossing it around. It just stays on me all the time so I'll put them in here and put them in my fanny pack so that they don't get scratched up because they are prescription. I try to really Really take good care of them so I do bring these little glasses someone did ask me recently where these were from they're from I buy direct I can definitely link them and I'll link everything in the comments that I can if I can't find the exact thing I'll link something similar but I do switch my glasses and my sunglasses quite a bit so anytime we go inside I'm like switching my glasses for my sunglasses because I can't see without them so I have to kind of put my regular glasses on so I'm constantly switching them out so I do like to bring them and put them in kind of a protective case in this case just kind of something soft and small that'll fit my fanny pack kind of my vlogging setup is the camera that I'm filming on right now so I can't show it to you it's the Canon G7X mark 2 I love this camera I think it's great for vlogging I think it's great for Disney vlogging because it's so small but I do like to use this little tripod it's a handheld tripod and the camera just kind of screws onto the top and unfortunately it doesn't fit in a fanny pack so I usually only do a fanny pack if it's not gonna rain because I'm having to carry around my camera and it doesn't fit inside so I'm just constantly holding it so if it's gonna rain a fanny pack is not a good option for me personally I want something where I can fit a poncho and things like that but if the weather's gonna be nice and it's only gonna be a few hours I will definitely use the fanny pack and just carry my camera around honestly I usually carry my camera around anyway because I'm getting it in and out of my bag constantly and sometimes like something happens where you want to film it right away and then you miss it because you're digging for your camera so I honestly carry my camera most of the time anyway in the park so it's not a whole lot different but I do carry it on this Manfrotto tripod which is really nice because you can kind of set it up on a table but most of the time I'm holding it right and kind of vlogging like this so I do still bring this and my camera even when I have this tiny little bag with me and then a few bare minimum things I bring 
for vlogging anywhere I go, even if I just go to Disney Springs or for a shorter day. I'm always bringing an extra SD card and an extra battery that's fully charged, just because the battery really doesn't last that long on this camera. That's one of my, I guess, biggest cons to the camera. The battery doesn't last super long, so you definitely have to have at least one backup. If I'm going for a full park day, I actually have two backup batteries now. And the only reason I have the second backup is because I royally messed up and forgot my camera battery and my charger. One time when we went to Disney and we had to go buy one, so now I have three, which is really nice because sometimes I'll go through both of these in a long park day and then I'll need to use the third one. So that is good that I have a third one, but just for kind of a shorter day, I literally just bring the bare minimum, an SD card, an extra battery, and that is it. So that is all I bring for a really, really short day. It all fits in the fanny pack. It, it can be definitely be tight, right? Because then you're also adding my phone in there. It's kind of good if you know the weather's gonna be good and you know that you're just gonna be out for a few hours. So I do like to bring something a little bit smaller. For a full park day, there's two types of bags that I like to use. I usually either use a very small, like a mini backpack, like either this, or I have a lounge fly, or I use, recently I've been getting really into tote bags and I have like 10 tote bags, like Disney tote bags, but this one's my favorite. It's the Disney World 50th Magic Kingdom tote, and I just love it so much, but I also have like a vintage tote bag, a slinky dog tote bag. I just recently, I should show you, this is very exciting actually. Recently, very recently, I bought this on Poshmark. I think she may be washed it and dried it, which is why it looks so like shrunken, but she listed it for like 20 bucks and I was like, that's a good deal. Like you don't find these very often for the original price. So I did jump on it and buy it and I, it's just so cute. So anyway, I have tons of these tote bags. I love them. I always thought using a backpack was going to be the most comfortable option. So when I originally kind of started going back to Disney as an adult, I only used a backpack and my back was hurting so bad. Even with this backpack, I love this backpack so much, but it's just not not comfortable. I remember when me and my mom and my sister went and I used this backpack for the very first time, literally halfway through the very first day in Animal Kingdom, I was having to like take it off and hold it or switch it around to the front because my back was just killing me. So you would think that like a backpack would be the most comfortable and I always thought that a tote bag would not be comfortable because it's one-sided, it's gonna hurt your shoulder, but that's not the case for me personally at all. I do prefer a tote bag with a really long handle because then it's more comfortable. Like my Slinky Dog tote kind of has a shorter handle and it's not as comfortable, but I actually really prefer a tote bag. So I use these mostly, but I do also have a couple small backpacks that I'll use sometimes. So that is what I'll use for a full day because it can fit literally anything I want or need. So for a full day in the parks, I'll still bring my wallet, which I already talked about obviously important. My magic band, I'll bring my vlogging camera with my tripod, my sunglasses case, and if I'm doing a full park day and I'm gonna bring a larger bag, I will bring the whole case, because then I feel like when things are jostling around in the bag, they're not gonna get broken or scratched. Whereas with a fanny pack, things aren't really getting jostled around as much, but with a tote bag, things are definitely all just like together in the bag, which is kind of a con, but I do bring kind of this harder case so that my sunglasses, or if I'm wearing my sunglasses, that my regular glasses don't get squished. And then as far as electronics, instead of just bringing my SD card and my battery, which I do bring, I bring this whole pouch of electronics. And inside I have a portable charger. So for a longer day in the parks, I definitely use this sometimes if my phone starts to die, especially because I take a lot of pictures and videos. So I definitely use this sometimes and then I bring a charger with it. I like to keep this one really wrapped up because I never unwrapped it and it's nice because it doesn't get tangled. I just put it in, I can still plug it into my phone, but it doesn't get all tangled up when I'm putting it back into the pouch. And then I still bring my extra battery, but then sometimes I'll even bring, if I'm gonna bring the whole pouch, I'll bring the charger too, just in case, especially because if I'm bringing the larger pouch, I'm probably gonna be in the parks for a longer day. Sometimes we plan on taking like a midday break and I'm like, oh, I'll just charge my battery then, but then we decide not to because we run out of time or we just don't wanna leave. So I do usually bring this charger if I'm gonna go for like a full day, just in case I use my backup, and then my other backup, and then I need to charge one. So it is hard to find plugs, right? Because this has like a regular plug on it and not doesn't plug into my portable charger. So it could be hard to find somewhere to charge it, but sometimes if you're sitting down at a meal, you might see a plug somewhere. There are some plugs definitely hidden around that I've heard about, but I usually don't have to use it, but I have anxiety, so I bring it anyway. And then I have my extra SD card. Sometimes I'll have two. And then I do bring a charger for my little mini fan, which I'll also put in my little like tech pouch. And it's this little Mickey fan and it's adorable because 
because it's Mickey. It's from Amazon, so I'll link it in the description for you. But I love this thing. You'd be surprised how often I've had to use it, like when it's really, really hot or you're standing in the baking sun. This can be so helpful. And some trips I don't use it at all. Some trips I've used it a lot. Even if it says it's not gonna be hot, I always bring it because you never know when you're gonna be like standing in line for something and all of a sudden you're like, oh, it is hot. And then another thing I have always raved about, which has not changed, is this little mini phone stand. I think this was like $4. I will link it in the description. It's from Amazon and it's like perfect for taking pictures, especially because me and my mom and sister used to kind of always pay for the memory maker. We haven't really been paying for it the last trip, so I don't know if we'll pay for it next time, but it is always nice to have a little phone stand so you can take pictures of yourself. I use the app Lens Buddy and I'll set this up on a trash can or anything honestly and I'll flip it around use the back camera because it takes better pictures and then I'll set up the Lens Buddy app to take a picture like every second. That way you can kind of do a couple different poses and then usually you end up with a picture that you like somewhere in there. So I love this little thing. It's the best. I also use it for FaceTiming when I'm at home. I'll put it on my desk and use it to FaceTime but this thing is awesome. Great for solo trips or if you wanna take pictures of you and your partner, or you and your family, or if your family is just sick of taking pictures of you, you can take them yourself. So, kind of fun. I will say it sets off the metal detectors and I'm always getting searched. So one thing you can consider is taking it out of your bag when you go through the metal detector so that they can see that there's nothing that you're trying to hide and then they don't have to search your bag. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I do love this thing. Another thing that I do bring anytime I'm using a bigger bag is this mini hydro flask. I think it's the perfect Disney water bottle because it's so small. I used to bring this like really tall aluminum water bottle and it was just unnecessary to be honest because there's a lot of places to get water in Disney. You can get those little cups and you can pour it into your mini water bottle. And I got this trick from someone on TikTok named Maggie. So I'll link her TikTok in the description. I saw her using this and I wanted one so badly and I thought it was so perfect to get purple because I had gotten all these little Disney stickers from my mom for my birthday last year. A lot of them are Tangled stickers because I love Tangled. So I was like, how perfect, a little purple water bottle. I put all the stickers on it and it's so stinking cute and it doesn't leak. So you have to be kind of careful. Make sure you put the lid on correctly because one time I didn't screw it on right and it leaked all over my tote bag. So you definitely have to be careful make sure that you're screwing the lid on right and it's not crooked. But if you have the straw closed, it does not leak, which is really, really nice. Sometimes the heat can sneak up on you and it's always good to have water just in case. Another thing I do bring in my park bag for kind of a longer day is sunscreen. So my favorite sunscreen for my face is this Eucerin. I was using the Unseen sunscreen and I think it was giving me a lot of acne. So I stopped using that, started using some other creams that my dermatologist gave me and my acne went away. So I'm never gonna stop using this stuff. I love it. She's actually the one who recommended it to me and it helped so, so much. So I love this stuff. It's 50 SPF, which is great for every day. It's great for the park. So sometimes I want to reapply. So I do bring it with me. And then I also bring some regular sunscreen for the rest of my body because that stuff's expensive. I don't want to use it everywhere. So I do bring, I, we've always really liked this Neutrogena sunscreen. So sometimes me, my mom, my sister will kind of share, like one person will bring sunscreen and we'll all share it so that we don't all have to carry it. But I do like to bring sunscreen with me just in case we're not going to take a midday break so I can reapply. Another thing I do bring if it's going to rain, sometimes I will leave it behind if I'm feeling really risky. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like if you don't bring it, that's when you're gonna need it. But I do bring a poncho because one time we had to buy ponchos and I'm like vowing I'm never gonna buy a poncho again. I'm just gonna use the same one. They're stupid expensive if you buy them at Disney and we were very ill prepared one year and we all had to buy ponchos. So I do bring this with me every time just in case. However, if it doesn't look like it's gonna rain, there's no rain in the forecast, sometimes I will leave it behind in the hotel room. But you never know when you're gonna have that like crazy afternoon shower that like comes out of nowhere. Honestly, I probably should just bring it every time because it's light it doesn't take up a lot of room and it's just risky to leave it behind because if you leave it behind you know it's gonna rain and then another thing I do bring is this little pouch so right now I do have my makeup in it and sometimes I do put my makeup in it when I travel to Disney but I don't wear a whole lot of makeup so I have like maybe five things so I'll take the makeup out and leave it in the room and then I'll use the pouch to carry anything that might leak like my sunscreen and my poncho because that way if my poncho gets wet and I have to wad it back up and put it back in my bag it's not gonna get my whole bag wet. This is a small pouch from Stony Clover, but it's actually from the Stony Clover Target collab. It was definitely a lot cheaper than their regular pouches, but it's the exact same size. So if you want something similar, check out Stony Clover. I'll link it in the description. So these are really helpful for keeping anything that might be wet off of the rest of your stuff in your tote bag since everything's kind of floating around together. And then the last thing that I always bring is a Nuimos. If you've been here for a while, you know I'm obsessed with these. I have 
way too many honestly but they're so cute and i love attaching them to my tote bag so another trick i learned from maggie on tiktok was this little hair tie you basically put the nui mouse on your tote bag and then you put the hair tie around his arm and then you put it around the strap and then around his other arm so kind of like he's wearing it like a backpack and then he is not going anywhere like it's extremely secure i'm surprised at how secure it is but I do like to bring a little Nui Mose and attach it to my bag with a hair tie. Another thing I learned on TikTok from another creator who I'll link in the description is this little trick with a slap bracelet. So especially if I'm wearing a backpack or something like that, I do like to bring a slap bracelet so that if my head starts to hurt, which I have a very large head, so sometimes many ears will like eventually give me a headache, kind of depending on which ears they are and how tight they fit. But sometimes I'll want a little bit of a break from the mini ears, so I'll take them off and then I'll put them on my tote bag with this slap bracelet. So Basically, you just take your ears and you put them next to the strap and you kind of just twist them around like that. I hope it was helpful to kind of show you what I have for a longer day versus a shorter day. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I'll have lots of Disney vlogs coming soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.